everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at the Hound of the Baskervilles deck made by King's Wild Project and Jackson Robinson. If you'd like to learn more about this deck or purchase this deck, you can pick it up at kingswildproject.com. Now, this deck, uh, there was 2,750 of them printed. And if you don't know a little bit, uh, this deck was a Kickstarter. Uh, it was put out from Jackson Robinson. It was a successful Kickstarter. Uh, it featured a lot of different uh, Sherlock Holmes themed playing cards. And they did have permission uh, from the Sir Arthur Conan Doyle estate to do that. And so it was, it was really successful and it was a wonderful series. And if you'd like to learn more about some of the other decks that were in that series, you can click the link below in the description. Now the theme for this, The Hound of the Baskervilles, it's one of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's most famous Sherlock Holmes books. Uh, there's four in total. This is the third one. And it is the most famous. And it was kind of responsible for kind of kicking the Sherlock Holmes uh, series back into the limelight. Jackson Robinson has done a wonderful honor to that book uh, through the release and the making of this deck. The tuck case on this is all raised embossing. There's a lot of different uh, floral uh, design wrapping all the way around this. Um, there's kind of an initial uh, red uh, metallic here that has um, the initials B and H for Hound of the Baskervilles. And the size says Hound of the Baskervilles on both sides. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy about King's Wild Project. And then the back design uh, is, has the, the little icon, the symbol of the famous hound from the Hound of the Baskervilles. And so as with any King's Wild Project deck, um, the tuck case is half of the design work that Jackson does. So just to give you a close-up view of some of the scroll work that's in this tuck, um, the other thing I wanted to show you is the inside. You're going to notice the BH, Hound of the Baskervilles, um, initial there. And then it does say Hound of the Baskervilles on the inside in black. And then you'll notice the entire uh, lining is done in a red foil. And it's just really, really intricate and so much attention uh, to design. And you're going to get a custom original tuck seal uh, right there. And so, yeah, it's very sleek, done on a matte black paper and it looks really pretty. And so that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. So these cards were printed by the United States Playing Card Company. They do come on a thin retail stock. They do have a modern cut and they do have air cushion embossing and magic finish. And if you'd like to learn more about cut, stock, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design is this beautiful red and black kind of floral uh, leaf uh, design uh, mirrored then with the famous icon of the Hound of the Baskervilles on the top and bottom. It is a mirrored um, two-way um, back design and you get that nice thin micro uh, border there. Um, with this deck you're also going to get an extra card. You're going to get a double backer which is always nice for magic tricks. With this deck you're also going to get a reveal card that tells you who some of the different court cards are throughout the deck. Jackson Robinson has modeled every single one of the courts to uh, portray one of the famous Sherlock Holmes characters. And so this reveal card will let you know who they are. On the flip side of that, there's a little bit of ad copy about Kings Wild and Jackson Robinson. Uh, your two jokers are both full size. One is black and one is red. And it is simply the initial symbol of the H and the B of the Hound of the Baskervilles. And then your Ace of Spades is also unique to this series. It says the Hound of the Baskervilles on the top. It has this really beautiful ornate ace and then it says King's Wild playing cards at the bottom. You'll also see that uh, one of the things that Jackson does with his decks, especially in this series, is he adds these little kind of banners to the bottom of his pips. And so that makes for a cool identifier that you are holding a quality King's Wild project deck. The pips and indices in this deck are all unique. Uh, you notice that Jackson has picked a unique font uh, up in the corner, and then he has stylized all of the pips um, to be unique for his deck. And here's the diamonds. Uh, you'll see that it's shaded on one side and then it kind of has like an etching hash mark on the other side. Um, show you the clubs here. These are uh, the thin uh, Jackson Robinson clubs. And then also in the background, you'll see that there's a watermark of the H and the B for Hound of the Baskervilles. I'm just going to seal the camera for a quick second just to give you a close-up look at the back design and some of the cards you get with this deck. Of course, here is your Hound of the Baskervilles Ace of Spades and one of the Jokers. Here's a look at the Ace of Diamonds and here are some of the custom court cards. You're going to see um, there's Sherlock Holmes and then uh, a couple of others of the characters from the Sherlock Holmes uh, story. Here's a close-up look of the PIP and Indice cards. 
just show you some of the unique artwork uh, that Jackson has put into stylizing each and every one of these cards. Well, that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. You can also subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you'd like to follow us on social media, we're at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy and twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.